Hi, my name is David. I'm with Republic Manufacturing. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to wire up a Republic single phase blower. This is just gonna be a general concept of how to do it. One of the things that we recommend that you do is call an electrician and have an electrician wire these units up. So the first thing we have to do is remove the cover and take the bolts out. Once we have the bolts out and the cover removed, you notice on the inside there is a wiring diagram. And the wiring diagram tells us exactly how we're gonna wire the blower up based off the voltage you have, whether it's 115 or 230. One of the differences with a single phase unit is you'll actually have to remove one of the capacitor wires from one terminal to the other terminal, pending the voltage that you're wiring it up for. So all you're gonna do is check the bars, make sure the bars are set up like the wiring diagram here in the cover. You'll also notice inside here, we have two black wires. These two black wires are thermal leads. These thermal leads would tie to your control voltage in case something happens, it could cut the unit off. However, if you don't have that, that's okay. You can just tape these up or use a wire nut and then tuck them down inside the electrical box. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and put your two incoming hot leads in the ground, tie those into the blower, go ahead and put the cover back on and start the blower. If you have any questions, email us or call us here at Republic and we'll be more than happy to assist you.